Hey guys, what's up? It's Kenzie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be super fun. We're doing a little chit chat, get ready with me, trying out a bunch of new products. So it's kind of like a first impressions, but I asked you guys for product recommendations and then I went to Sephora today. It was the first time in like, legit probably years that I've gone to Sephora and just picked up a ton of products. I really never buy makeup and I'm such a skincare girl, but I've been kind of like getting back into it lately and it's just like a fun thing to do. If you guys are interested in seeing a Sephora haul, it's on my IGTV, so it's just Kinsey Elizabeth. Most of these products are going to be new, um, but the first one I'm gonna start off with is not new. Well, this is new, but it's a refill. This is my all-time favorite primer. It is the Becca Backlight Primer. It is beautiful. The way it goes on your skin is just next level. Okay, so I'm gonna also be answering some of your questions from Instagram. Guys, I just have to say, like, Two seconds ago, I just saw that Kanye West, um, I also just apply this with my fingers, but you know, Kanye West just tweeted that he will see that Taylor Swift gets her masters back and that Scooter Braun is a close family friend. Things that I just like didn't expect to see in 2020, like that's very high on the list. So I got all these new face products. Um, okay, so we have the Kosas face oil, which I will probably be using this like daily because I'm such a like skincare kind of gal, so I feel like this is more my vibe. But I have two foundations. I have Huda Beauty, um, and then I have Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty. I think I'm gonna try this one today. I'm sure I'll try that on a vlog, don't worry. Where's my sponge? Oh my gosh. Why does this happen to every person ever? Who is in my makeup bag all along? Okay, so, I, oh no. Well, already stained my clothing with this, so. I've heard great things about this, so I'm excited to try, hopefully. It's my shade. I can't tell. Am I like putting too much on? I guess we'll see. Um, so yeah, that was weird. Also, this is like way too orange for me. We will see. That was the problem like Sephora. Right now, they are like so COVID safe. Like seriously, they are killing it, but you can't like test out products and stuff and then people have to help you. I personally don't want to like disagree with the Sephora person on like the color because you know you would think that they know best and like a lot of the time they do but um oh I guess they do it actually does match anyways my point is though like I never want to be like oh no I don't know about that because it's their job you know like, I like it and I don't feel like it's too crazy full coverage but I do think it's pretty I almost want to put more on I'm not gonna do that I've learned my lesson and I oh gosh my bottle is like leaking. I swear, oh, it's from here. I swear I have like a defective bottle because it's getting everywhere. I think the packaging is really pretty. Um, it's not Selena's fault, you know, but I have my actual makeup bag of like my other products as well. I need to clean this out so bad. It's like not even funny. I will be baking today, so we're really going for it. All time Holy Grail concealer. Literally will never be a better one. I like the highlight shade the best and this one is light honey. So I need to get the highlight one. Next, I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I feel like this is like the most classic one for baking, or one of them at least. I haven't actually had this in so long. They sent it to me recently, and I was like, this is perfect because I'm actually like really loving, ooh, I've been really loving trying new makeup products. We're gonna bake with this. Oh, I'm not even answering questions. I'm really bad at multitasking when it comes to like filming and it should check it ready with me, and I don't have enough powder. Guys, I think tomorrow. Q and I are gonna go to the Restoration Hardware Outlet. It's, I'm like so excited for that. I'm literally not even leaving my house tonight. So like, why am I doing this, you know? I feel like this just was not a good baking job. It is what it is, people. Okay, now I'm gonna use this bronzer. It's the Marc Jacobs Tan Trick Bronzer. I got this on sale. I will link all the products that I'm using down below, by the way. And um, I know. It might still be on sale. I meant to get the black one, but they only had one box left and it was the white one. So I guess I couldn't have gotten the black one anyways. But I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my cheeks, but I'm <laughs> gonna get a question first. How do you stay present when your mind is filled with worries about the future and relationships? I feel like that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I have been like, I don't, I don't know. I've just been kind of all over the place. I also just got powder all over my black tank top. Are you joking? I am not an expert at this because I'm obviously struggling with this as well, like I said. However, I do know things that help me. I actually recently posted like an anti-anxiety morning routine, so keeping in my routine, and that's gonna be different for every single person, that has like really helped. Spending time on your own and spending time on yourself is really great, so journaling, exercising, going on walks, going and doing things by yourself is really good because I think it's really important to have a good relationship with yourself. All right, so we'll see how this looks. I'm just like, I'm, I'm learning. 
I'm gonna use the in cosmetics blush I've actually really been liking this blush. This is in the shade heavens glow But I think in those times like my therapist always says like what is fact our anxiety lies to us so just recognizing that like your anxiety isn't necessarily like intuition or like discernment I think we give anxiety too much credit sometimes and they're like oh it's my intuition but like really it's not I think just like working on yourself going on walks is really helpful for me and then also writing down my things I actually have a therapy journal too that I just found online from therapy journals but just recognizing what's fact and what's in your head is really important do you still pay for your La La Land or are you sponsored yet? yes I still pay for my La La Land I actually Love them so much. I think they're a really really incredible brand. I'm gonna use this to I feel like I've been baking for long enough, right? I don't want to bake like crazy. This is the Becca Hydra mist set and refresh powder. I was so interested by this because apparently this is 50% water If you guys don't know what they're talking about um, If you watch my vlogs, I go to a lot of them like every single day and it's my favorite coffee place in Dallas I actually get matcha. I have strawberry fields with oat milk. Um, yes, I pay for everything They do a lot with like foster care and I think they're an incredible um, Place to go if you're in Dallas. I would recommend I also just recorded an entire podcast episode with the founder um, and he was a really great guest, so you guys should go listen to that. If you didn't know, I have a podcast. Anyways, I have this. It's really interesting. I will say, like, the texture is definitely, like, a little bit different. Oh, my gosh. It feels... No, it definitely... Okay. It definitely feels, like, damn. This is so weird. I don't want this to be, like, too chalky. I feel like, also, I definitely brought the bronzer down a little bit too far. This is so interesting. It's, like, that is the most interesting product. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Stay tuned in vlogs and I'm sure I'll talk about it. But it's just so weird. Like it's a powder, but it definitely feels, it's definitely damp, which makes sense. It's 50% water, but still. How tall are you? I'm five. I think I'm closer to five, six. Five, five and a half. Like I'm not quite five, six, but I think I'm like five, five and three quarters. Um, I know people ask that because it matters for like sizing and you're trying to picture clothes and stuff. Who are your favorite people to watch on YouTube? So, um, I was actually at lunch with Michelle Reed the other day. She's actually one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube. But, uh, by the way, I'm brushing out my brows. This is just a product I've used more so recently. It's the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I love this. It's my favorite brow product, like, ever. Anyways, Michelle is actually one of them, but we were talking about this. I love Julia and Hunter. I watch like legit every single vlog they post. Mainly everyone that I watch are like friends of mine. Um, I love Lauren's vlogs. Obviously, I've always loved Lauren's vlogs or videos. I'm a Leger's Leger. I literally know her and I can never pronounce her last name. And I'm so sorry, Emma, but I love Emma's vlogs. Who else do I watch? Oh, Brooke, obviously. I always watch Brooke. Basically, I watch like all of my friends on YouTube, but I prefer vlogs. So comment down below your favorite people that you watch on YouTube, but um, definitely like in that kind of like lifestyle vlog realm. How are you really feeling? So thank you for asking, not that really anyone else cares, um, but I feel like I'm feeling good. I definitely have had like a lot more, I'm gonna use this, this brush for highlighter even though it's like not for highlighter. I'm like literally so sorry and uh, okay. Um, Becca Champagne Pop. <laughs> This is an OG. This is a classic. I bought this as a refill. Haven't had this in years, but throwback. So pretty, forgetting what the question was. How am I really feeling? Okay, so I kind of feel, one, I'm feeling so much better than I was a few weeks ago. I've shared a lot on like my mental health journey and meds and just kind of figuring out what works for me. And that is a journey in itself. Like I feel like people don't talk about the journey of finding the right meds for you. Like right now I'm trying supplements and I'm feeling just a lot better overall. But I feel like people don't talk about that enough and like I felt like I was a totally different person. Like really disconnected from like everyone and everything in my life and I don't know, I just felt super weird for a while. So really irritable too and like I grew up with eight siblings. Like I am not irritable. People do not annoy me and I was just so irritable. I'm way too empathetic to like ever say anything to anyone so probably, I don't think anyone around me knew that I was really irritable but on the inside I was just like annoyed which is like not me. I'm feeling very fulfilled work-wise. Like I love posting. I've been posting like pretty much every single day and I absolutely love that. Like I just feel very fulfilled. Again, Michelle and I were talking at lunch the other day. We should film a video together. So I'll actually text her. But I was just saying like, I get so fulfilled whenever I feel like I'm so close with like my viewers, you guys. I feel like we're all friends. Like when I meet you guys in person, I'm like, oh, we're just like besties. Like there's people who I literally like, Megan and Lauren who are probably watching this, hopefully. Um, I like text them now. Like it's just like, I feel like I'm really friends with all of you guys. 
and it's so fun so i've been feeling very fulfilled in that way i'm feeling i feel like i don't wear enough makeup to where these videos are like long enough okay all-time favorite online shopping stores top three okay so for sure princess polly i have a code right now kinsey 20 for 20 percent off i hope it's still working for you guys by the time this video goes up but i think it will i actually was wearing today my well this is princess polly but my new favorite pair of jeans from them are $65 and if you got them anywhere else they'd be $300. I love Misguided, I shop on there a lot and then I love Revolve. So I feel like those are my top three. Tips for making friends in a new city. So making friends like post-grad is really weird. By the way, I'm gonna use, actually no, I'm gonna put bronzer on my eyes for eyeshadow with a bronzer brush. Guys, I really need a new brush set and like they all went away and slash I stopped wearing makeup for months. So here we are, so like, it's okay, right? I feel like maybe this makeup is more relatable to you because it's not like art or like really good. Anyways, making friends like post-grad is super, super weird and kind of difficult because before like you really rely on your environments, right? So like in high school, you typically are friends with your friends from school or like if you're in like a youth group or in sports or things like that, like you are just friends with people who are just typically like around you all the time. And then you go to post-grad and it's like, yeah, you can make friends at work. But like right now, a lot of people are working from home. So that's really hard. I make friends mainly through social media and then also like church things. Like in LA, I would say it was like 50-50. Like half of them were like social media people and not even just like social media people. I mean like friends that I like, which is like, oh my gosh, they have a cool profile. And we would like DM and then we would end up being friends. And then like friends that I made at church or like at my school. Now in Dallas, since I haven't really gotten the chance to make like new friends, obviously I have friends here because I grew up here. Um, and like I'm, they're still my best friends still. I'm like really lucky in that way, but it's definitely harder when it's COVID because you can't just like go out and meet a bunch of people. So it's just been like weird, but for example, my friend Liz and I who hang out all the time, we met just through Instagram, or technically we met because she worked at an office that I went to, but um, then we just started like DMing on Instagram and whatever, and like now we hang out all the time. So I think it's just like, don't be afraid to like message someone or DM someone or comp with them on Instagram or things like that. I think that goes a long way. I feel like Instagram is a great way to make friends though because you can kind of tell someone's interest maybe, I don't know. So far, I think I like my makeup. I'm gonna try this Milk Kush Mascara. This tube is really big, but it seems really nice. The wand is also very big. Okay, a lot of people are asking about LA. Not sure if I'm moving back or um, things like that. So if you guys are new to my channel, I was living, I grew up in the suburbs of Dallas and I moved when I was 17 to LA and then I moved Back to Dallas, I bought this townhouse in February with the intentions of splitting my time between Dallas and LA. Um, I had really good rent in LA, that's how I could do that. But obviously COVID hit. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all this at once, but we'll try. So when COVID hit, I really, I haven't been able to go back to LA once when I was already like, I had to, I had so many trips and like weeks that I was supposed to be there. I should have curled my lashes with this mascara, I have to say. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Like, with COVID, it has made things so much less necessary to be in LA. I have to, like, in my opinion, in my kind of realm, I actually don't hate Zoom audio recordings anymore, and I used to, like, big time. Let me know if you guys hate them, though, because that's what matters. But, um, yeah, I definitely see myself, like, going back to LA often, but I don't think I'll have a place there because I would rather when we can travel, be able to spend a lot of time in like New York and Nashville as well and like go record there. But um, never say never, like I I personally would love at this point in my life to like be in Dallas forever, but you've literally gotta be kidding me. How? It wasn't even on my island, like, but never say never. I wouldn't, this time last year, if you would've told me I was living back in Dallas, I probably wouldn't have believed you. I actually wouldn't have believed you, so. Okay, so this mascara is like really buildable. At first I didn't really like it, but I definitely like it now. But I do think it's a little bit spidery. You know those people who like really have their lives together and they curl their eyelashes and then they like blow dry them to apply heat and then they, like they have like a whole eyelash mascara routine and it's like, you're lucky if you even get me to wear mascara for the day because I literally ha just hate putting it on. I don't even really care about wearing it. It just like, I hate applying it. But then like, I don't really like having eyelash extensions on either because I feel like they're just like, uncomfortable. This girl at Sephora today had like the prettiest eyelash extensions on and they were very like natural looking but they're so pretty which made me think like oh maybe I do want them. I got Botox and every time I used to do my mascara in the morning like my forehead would like crinkle up which like nothing wrong with that 
But now that it doesn't, I'm like, wow, this thing really worked. All right, well, I got mascara all over my face, so I need to find a Q-tip. Okay, it's like next to impossible to get this mascara off your face, just in case you were wondering. I'm just like sitting here waiting. Like, how do I get this off? Honestly, like this is gonna have to be good enough because it's just not coming off my face. Also, I recently got the Tower 28 lip glosses as well as everyone else in the world, but I actually love this. Like the very first time I applied it, I was like, oh, it's great. I wish it was a little bit thicker. And the more I wear it, the more I'm like, no, no, no. Like it's the best lip gloss, it's a clean brand. Again, you get it at Sephora, but it is just like the right amount of gloss. It's not sticky. Your hair doesn't get stuck in it ever. Like it is just absolutely bomb. Okay, the last step, which I will do my last question. Okay, do you have any regrets about starting YouTube so young? So I started YouTube when I was 15. Um, I was just about to turn 16 and not that I have regrets. I was actually also talking about this with Michelle yesterday. Wow, this entire video is like basically a recap of our conversation. But, um, by the way, it's the Urban Decay D-Slick. I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Wow. You know people who only spray three sprays, which is probably like what you're supposed to spray? How do you have that much self-control? Anyways, I was just saying, you know, I'm glad, no, I don't have any regrets. I'm glad that I did it then. Um, honestly, if I would've started earlier, I probably would've done a lot better. I am glad that I ended up going to like college, not that I even went to like a normal traditional college, but it was really good because it gave me structure, it gave me something to do outside of YouTube, which most of the time is actually really healthy, and it also, which a lot of times is like really healthy, it also gave me something to like vlog about at that time, and it gave me something where I learned so much that like my entire identity and worth wasn't in YouTube, whereas before when I was younger, I feel like I was just so focused on YouTube and I loved it so much that like my worth and maybe my identity was like a little bit more in it. Being able to kind of like step back while I was in like normal, quote unquote normal while I was like in school was really helpful for me because it allowed me to have like a healthier relationship and put it in like a healthier space in my life if that makes sense. All right guys, we are doing a lighting check with the makeup. I actually really, really like it. I feel like the bronzer, I didn't blend that as well. So I'm gonna fix that. I would say my top three products from this video are the lip gloss, the primer for sure, and my brow product, which the brow product and lip gloss I already had, but they're new. But those are my faves. This is the makeup look, super easy, super simple. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing that much makeup either. Like it's not heavy. This foundation actually is incredible. I actually really, really like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have not already, please subscribe. If you made it to the very end, comment down below, 1111. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.